Today, I'll be unboxing this miniature PlayStation 5 console, the newest generation in gaming. Let's open this thing up and take a look. First thing we have is this little box, which I'll get to in a second. And then we have the console itself. Let's unwrap this thing and see what it looks like. Wow, that is so futuristic. Inside the smaller box, we've got some additional items like the manual and quick start guide. There's the stand for the console, HDMI cable, power cable, the brand new DualSense controller, and a USB cable. This controller feels amazing. It fits perfectly in the palm of my hand. And there it is. Okay, this is obviously not a functioning console, but it was fun to make. Let me show you how I put this thing together. The first step was to get a 3D model of the PlayStation. I found this particular one on thingiverse.com. It was modeled by a user named Phil underscore Miller. And then I found a 3D model of the DualSense controller on cults3d.com. And this one was modeled by a user named Lunux. After downloading the files, I imported them into my slicer program and rescaled them to the desired size. I think this ended up being approximately one fifth scale. And then I copied them over to my 3D printer, the Creality Ender 3 Pro. The console took about 10 hours to print with the settings that I used, and the controller and stand took another couple hours to print. The prints were a little bit rough, so I decided to sand them down a little bit to make the surface smoother. Once that was done, I sprayed a layer of primer on top before painting. And then I covered everything with a white base coat. Next, I used some black paint to finish the rest of the paint job on the console. And then the controller. For the cables, I found some extra red wire lying around. So I folded it into the desired shape and painted it black. I sculpted the connectors and elastic bands out of polymer clay and attached them to the wire. I made these manuals by printing out images that I found online and then folding them into the shape of a book. I made the accessory box by folding some pieces of matte photo paper and then gluing them together. I used some tissue gift wrap to cover up some of the components and I also sculpted these packaging pieces out of polymer clay. Finally, I needed to make the big box and to do that, I looked up some unboxing videos of the actual PS5 and captured screenshots of the box from all angles. I then arranged them into a printable template in Photoshop. I printed out the template onto semi-gloss photo paper. I then cut it out and I folded it together. I also built this handle for the box out of polymer clay and I put it together to end up with this. And there you have it. Leave me a comment and let me know what else you'd like to see me make. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.